Chef's has long been one of Buffalo's favorite eateries for residents and visitors alike. It has also been known as the number one spot for members of the Buffalo Sabres hockey team since 1970. This is a tradition that goes back to Lou Billetier Sr. and original Sabres trainer, Frank Christie. Oh, absolutely. Well, Frank was the king, you know. He, he did his breakfast at the town restaurant. He did his lunches and dinners at Chef's. And, uh, yeah, Frank actually started with my dad. They were good friends. And he started bringing the guys around when, when, in the Bison days, actually. And then when the Sabres came here, the guys would come here. And, and my father was kind of their mentor. It, it was kind of a neat thing to see. Uh, guys were 19, 20 years old. And it isn't like it is now. You know, they have handlers. and So they, my father, they asked him for advice. Or if once in a while, they got a little uh, skirmishes around town. And he'd help them out or whatever. And, and that's kind of how it evolved. And, you know, the next guy, next generation told the next generation. And that's why we've kind of had the players here all through our, the Sabres tenure. When, we, when I first came up from British Columbia, it was that you have to go to Chef's for the pregame meal. So I, I'd come over here with Rick Martin or Don Luz or Craig Ramsey or Joe Perot and here we'd have we'd have our meal here. And then we went back to the Williamson apartments and had our nap and came back to play. Worked pretty good uh, for a long time. And um, you know, what can you say? These these this is great food, it's it's pasta, it's energy when we played and uh, it continues. Louis Sr. was just such a nice man. He, he was so involved in the community and charities and fundraisers and whatever it took. He, he, he was a huge part of the community. We recognized that early. And, you know, he used to be around and Frank Christie was one of his great buddies. And Frankie was probably the first person that told me to, hey, go over to Chef's. And we started coming here, all of us came here all the time. And I think Frankie used to beat me after practice uh, for lunch. Over. And I would bring my boys if they had a day off school. And Dorothy, who was just a wonderful lady, would slap me in the shoulder when I said she, they couldn't have any more bread. And it, it, this was part of the community. And when I come back to this day, I walk in and I know somebody. And this is part of Buffalo history, it's part of the community, and it certainly has always been a big part of the Sabre history. Uh, Louis used to be around the dress room a lot with Frank Christie, and, and uh, was always a helping hand, and, and uh, he uh, always would ask the guys to come over for lunch, and the boys uh, um, um, obviously loved the food, so and it was handy from the, for the odd, so we're always over there, and he was always, uh, always gave Frank a helping hand, always gave us words of encouragement. He was like, uh, almost like a godfather for us around the dress room. So uh, the guys got to know him very well. They, they appreciated his company. They appreciated the, the, uh, the lunches we used to have after practice. Uh, it was a place for us to kind of hang out after the practice. We were a bunch of young guys. It wasn't we go to the practice and everybody disappear. We all would all hang out, and this was a great place to do it. And the boys would uh, have a good time, especially the the younger single guys. They you know they didn't have a family to go to. This became family, and it just continued to snowball from there. Uh, Louis John was younger. He was uh, you know his father kind of started it, and and Louis John has continued the tradition. So uh, it's it was a great relationship. Has been for uh, I've been here since seventy. 374 so it's uh, and it's been um, it's been just as strong as ever. Uh, Louie and Louie Jr. just like great people and same with Mrs. Billetier and Mary Beth they're just you know they're heart and soul people what you see is what you get and that's that's a great thing and it's just such a warm and uh, atmosphere here to be able to come here and eat and talk to all the people that work here that are just super people super nice people to to be around. It was always just the place to go um, and we, we, we knew Louis Sr., um, but Louis John was a, was a, <laughs> Louis John was the stick boy for the visiting team, so we would bust his chops every now and then too. And, and now Louis John obviously is, is carrying on the tradition and continues to run the show, but I mean, it, it, goes, it goes so far, like Mike Felina was coaching the Sudbury Wolves. Uh, for five years, we coached that team up in, in Ontario. And, and one of the teams they played is the Erie Otters. Whenever Mike crossed the border, he would make a phone call and Louie would set up a table and Mike would bring his entire team here on the bus. And they'd have, I mean, it's just, one of the things that does happen here is the food's pretty good. So we can start with that. But just 
they treat you so well, and I, I don't I don't know if I'm answering your question, but it's just a great place to to come and and then uh, kibitz and uh, get a good. So so on game day, back in the '80s, Lou Senior obviously he knew it was game day. So he was ready for you guys. I mean, he was expecting you to come in after your morning skate. Well, I think he was, because we'd always eat up front. And, uh, and, and it was crazy. It was, I, I always thought, this is kind of weird. How come there's always a table for us? What's this going on? What? <laughs> but they were, we would sit up front and have a, a bite to eat, and, and it was awesome. Well, it was a great advertisement, too, for the restaurant, well, because everybody knew if they came in, they'd have a chance to see the Sabres in here. I wasn't that smart back then. <laughs> I didn't know that was the hook. You weren't hounded by autograph seekers? No, not me. <laughs> the other guys were, but no, and, and they, they treated us really well here. And, and, and they've always been part of whatever we were doing. And, and even as I moved on with the Alumni Association, Chefs has always been a big part of it. So it's all good. For, like Ryan Miller ate every meal here for almost his whole career in Buffalo. He would be here as pregame meals. And, uh, you know, the Bill, same way, Bruce Smith was here every Friday night like clockwork during the season for his whole career. So it, it's kind of neat. And it's not bad advertising for the restaurant when patrons know if they come in on game day, there's a chance they'll see some of the players here. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's it, it's good and it's bad. I mean, we enjoy it, of course, because it's it brings people into the restaurant. But I kind of feel bad too because you know the guys want their privacy, especially on game days. You know, they want to get in, get a, a quick lunch after a morning skate, and then go home and catch some sleep. And sometimes they get swamped, like. During the playoffs, when we were in the 99 Stanley Cup Finals, I had to hire security to stand around the tables, literally, so they didn't bother the guys. Louis Cena was one of the most generous people I, that I ever knew, and then I think Louis surpassed it. I mean, he's, you look at all the things he does for the city and all, and all the events, and every every fundraiser, all of a sudden, well, dinner for 45 at Chefs, if you you know if you if you want to bid for that. Uh, I mean, he, they've been unbelievable since day one, and, and he's still doing. Doing it again tonight. I mean, there's a lot of people here, and who's taking care of all of us, and uh, and treats us like a million dollars all the time. The guys always say, "Well, you got to go to chefs and uh, you know introduce yourself." And uh, and ever you know, I, I met his mom and dad and stuff like that. And the whole the whole family has been a natural. <coughs> they're the kindest, most loving people, and you know they do anything for you. And you know, like, and even now, if uh, Louie will call you. You know, he has season tickets, so like you know, like we do a lot of things for charity. So he said, my nickname is Bobo. He says, Bobo, do you need any tickets? She's like, I'm not going to the game tonight. I said, Sure, Louis, I can use them. I'll give if if I'm, I don't use them because, like I said, I'll give I'll give them to some you know some underprivileged children or something. But uh, Mary Beth and you know every, everybody's been so kind and uh, just down to earth people. That's that's the whole point of chefs. I mean. Anybody that knows the Billeteer family, they've always been that way. Like I said, I first met him in 1978, and that's whatever, 40 years later or whatever. So it's just been there down to earth. You know, they're talking about Buffalo going through a resurgence, but this restaurant has made it through thick and thin for the last 40, 50 years. Hey, Bob, I had a restaurant in Angola, and we didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, it's a very, very difficult business. I learned a lot. But I give kudos to Louis, Mary Beth, their staff. Everything they do is um, traditional. It's about family. It's about Buffalo, city for good neighbors. And, and, and it's, come on, the spaghetti parm is to die for. Your sister has been a big part of this, too. Mary Beth. She has. She's, you know, she's behind the scenes. It, it, I feel bad because everybody puts my face with chefs so often, but Mary Beth actually does a heck of a lot more work. She, I'm not allowed to touch the money. I'm not allowed to, you know, she, she doesn't let me buy anything uh, unless I run it by her first. But yeah, Mary Beth does a lot too. And she's, she's close with a lot of the guys as well. So uh, we have a pretty good relationship that way. She does behind the scenes and I do the upfront stuff. How long is this going to continue? Well, we're coming up on a hundred years. Uh, as long. God willing, as long as possible. We, we're not going anywhere. So, you know, I can't thank the people of Buffalo enough. I mean, we, we just get so much support. And, you know, the, I mean, the players, I mean, I just shipped sauce to Don Edwards down in Florida yesterday. So we keep that relationship going long distance with a lot of our customers. And people are, are good enough to come to Chef's. There's so many good restaurants in Buffalo. You know, it's, it, it's, we're very thankful that people still think of us.